guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so we got um quite a bit of stuff to do today um pretty happy with the progress that we're actually getting on the library itself uh though it's still going to take a while for them to finish that i think a lot of the paths still need to be finished as well so uh, it's just a matter of what gets done in that particular level but um yeah, one step at a time. I think some of them are building at the moment. So we got some of the paths over here. And he's got some limestone. So it shouldn't take too, too long for them to get all this path stuff done. Now, I think it's based on priority of what we decided to build uh, in the order of it. So we probably, yeah, I think what happened was we were deciding to build the um, pass and then what we worked on was the second floor after that so that kind of makes sense why they're building the pass now um, I mean it, it will get done when it gets done right it's just a matter of you know getting it all built and stuff now they do have to go yeah to there for the um, limestone even though that there's limestone right there which is probably closer well, not necessarily. I guess he was building over there. Alright, so I'm just going to try to work on getting these uh, parts that I haven't done yet for the edging built. And just kind of getting the edge parts up like that. And when they get to finishing building the uh, parts, then that will look a lot better, I think. So it might take a couple days for them to do that, I think. There's quite a bit of paths, a lot of tiles to build, so. And they have to complete all this part too, though we'll be mining out this part later on, so hopefully we, we, we don't have this section to do because we're going to be mining this area out and filling it in eventually. But um, yeah, it still needs to get done a lot of it, so. All right, so there's that. Uh, let's see here, where are you going? Oh, way over here. Grabbing wood, why do you need wood? Oh, I think he's gonna be building that. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I could cancel it all, but it's then I'd have to figure out the placement and everything for it again because this side isn't exactly measured
Alright, so we got some good news. Um, I did discover something. Uh, I didn't ever see an icon on the, um, what do you call it, the thing to actually block people from easily doing all the tiles. And just doing it by hand would have been nuts. So I ended up just clicking on the thing and I noticed there was um, a forbid icon here. So you can switch between forbid and allow. By default it's allow, even though that it says allow, you can uh, set it to forbid and then you can do uh, f apply to all and then all layers or specific layers and stuff like that. And uh, what that allows you to do is it just allows you to block building things or other things that might require uh, actions like hauling, things like that. So um, that was really handy because then I can just focus on the building here uh, for the thing. I also disallowed them to build on this side too. So hopefully they'll start working on that a little bit more. But um, we can work on the pass a little bit later. Um, we'll, I just let them to finish that one section up because it wasn't like fully done yet. But um, might take um, a little bit longer. We have 16 hours, so they're probably going to. Let's see here. Getting ready for construction. What are you getting ready for construction for? Um, dirt. Oh, I think he's going to be filling in the uh, places finally. These things. Uh, we had some dirt that we needed to be filled in there, but that's oh, all right. Um, I didn't get to that because didn't really need to at the moment, but all I'm thinking about is like how much dirt this is going to cost, like to fill all this clay in. <laughs> uh, we still have another level that we have to go down. I'm not sure if there's even more levels below that, but um, yeah, it's it's going to be a um, large project for sure, and eventually we'll need to fill this entire thing in. Um, because it is under the river, I'm not sure if I want to just fill it in with water. That might be an option. Um, I'm not sure how it will fare with the amount of water that's up here, but we can always install that mod again and then fill it in manually. That would work. But, I don't know. Problem for when we get this whole area mined out from clay, I guess. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can start working on that library a little bit more, get that finished, and then we can start working on uh, the pass a little bit more. That shouldn't take them too, too, too long, but, you know, just it's mostly just getting the uh, resources and having people build it. Um, at the moment, I think everyone's going to go to bed pretty soon, so...
All right, so we got Thor's hammer again. Um, there's like this um, thing that happens when there is a, um, I guess it's like summer, a summer event or something like that. We're on day 12, so it might be the last day that we have it. I'm not sure. But um, from what I have noticed, there was a lightning strike around here. And it does damage the default terrain even. Um, as you can see, like the damage for the hit points for this uh, went down quite a bit. So some of these went down to like 73. Um, so around in this area. So that was where one of the lightning strikes happened. Uh, the same kind of lightning strike that actually hit our church, believe it or not. And we got I think we got pretty lucky this time. But definitely something to keep an eye out for uh, when it does strike. And I'm assuming that it will eventually have uh, flammability properties as well um, over time. So basically when those strikes happen, it might start things on fire. Uh, because flammability is planned for the future for this game. So building out of wood is not ideal, obviously. Or at least not a lot of it. Um, you know, when you have mostly stone like this, it's fairly easy to repair if it's mostly stone. But... It would require um, having wood on site. But yeah, outside of that, um, just something interesting. It's over now. Uh, and the little pop up up here says it's over. So uh, we don't have exactly enough research to unlock maces at the moment, but I think I'll be unlocking that next. And then that way we can start producing some of those uh, for trading or something like that. Uh, we don't really need maces. Most of our guys are range guys anyways, so yeah, I guess we'll mine those out as well. And yeah, they have a way to get around there so we can start mining out this section. I think it will be mostly dirt underneath, but just to be sure, you know, we'll just extract everything in this area. And we'll start working our way back into this area over here. But They'll be able to get up to the roof now soon uh, for the support for this at least. Um, they got some other parts of the supports and stuff that they still need to add. They've been getting the foundations and stuff up so that's good uh, for the parts to build these parts of the roofs. Uh, we might even just leave the wood part here so we can easily get up if we need to. And that way it will be a little bit easier to repair if we need to from like Thor's hammer. Alright, welcome back. So we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today. I just wanted to show a quick um, overlay of what we've been working on. So we got the 
walls on the second floor done uh, minus that one wall there but pretty much everything else is built uh, we just have the roof and the upper loft area to build which will take a little bit of time to do but I don't think it will take too much time uh, not too much more uh, we also have a new settler um, they came I might have been off camera when they came they were injured they had a chest laceration and arm laceration so uh, he's healing currently i put him in the church because we don't have a extra house available yet i think what we'll probably end up doing is once we get this part mined out uh, we'll probably start building over here um for houses and stuff like that i think there's enough room to put the houses or something in this general area um i still need to debate where i'm going to be putting everything i i don't know if we're going to need more barns or not I just noticed we had a uh, little baby deer now too, so they are breeding, which is good. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the progress at the moment. Um, he's good with uh, carpentry and marksmanship, so hopefully we'll be able to get um, a little bit more building and stuff like that. I assigned him to a builder uh, profession as well as carpentry so he'll be focusing on carpentry first and then he'll be focusing on um, building cooking and then artist so those are his main priority primary things that he'll be working on uh, he isn't has he doesn't have particular good things for hunting though he's passionate about it doesn't mean that he's going to be good at it um, if we look at his uh, stats he's an elf shot so motor function is uh, negative five and there's also this one which is global movement speed and work speed so he's pretty slow when he's actually wandering and stuff like that which isn't great for hunting so i um, not going to get him to focus on the hunting even though that he is passionate about it but um, outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out